Hi Taurus, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to go off and start off with some love messages from your person, do some tarot, and then complete it with um, a few more messages from your person. So what does your person want to tell you, Taurus? Taurus watching this video, it says, I want to be there for you, to take care of you. So that's a nice energy. It says, the taste of your presence is something I will never ever able to. <laughs> never ever be able to forget so you put an impression on this person to see how are they feeling for you Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus as well as North Node how are they feeling for you we have I didn't fall in love with you because I have always loved you and I always will there's a strange and deep connection between us and I could listen to your voice for days on end. So that's really beautiful energy. All right, let's go ahead and see here. How's your person feeling for you, Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, oh I have other cards mixed in here. Hold on. <laughs> They're not even a part of this deck, but that one wanted to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one, actually. Because I guess they really wanted you to know that they still love you. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and just put uh, put that over here for right now. Wasn't expecting that. All right. So how is your person feeling for you, Taurus, right now? Let's see how they're feeling for you. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. says so many things remind me of you we have I want to be more than friends we have unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement we have um, let's see here how's your person feeling for you Taurus how are they feeling for you so they still love you it's like they want to be there to support you, but it, it's like there's something within them that they have to work on right now, or it could be all the pressure um, that they're going through. It says, I know that I crossed the line with you. So something that they did, they really, um, really regret. And then we have here, you already know the answer that you seek. So you're very intuitive. You already know what's going on in this connection. Um, sometimes it's just about whether or not we actually want to accept what, you know, the truth that we know, right? Or whether or not we want to idealize the connection because sometimes we do that, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot for Taurus. How's your person feeling for you, Taurus? Is the Taurus watching this video? How are they feeling for you? the ten of cups we have the five of cups we have the fool we have the king of swords All right bottom of the deck the seven of cups your person <laughs> your person's confused Taurus I feel like I feel like they want you I feel like they want a commitment with you I feel like they feel emotionally fulfilled when they're with you um, there's no one else that's like you. I feel your energy is very, um, it's very uplifting. You're very beautiful, but you're also very down to earth. I feel like if they left you, they're regretting that. I feel like they haven't been able to encounter your energy anywhere else. I feel like there's a lot left that they still need to tell you. Um, because if you notice, he is, um, he's, he's walking away, but he has only his pants on, but not his shirt on. So this it's like this person was partially vulnerable with you. And I feel like they felt that you could see through them, but there still was so much that they were hiding beneath this, uh, the surface. With his yellow pants here, I'm drawn to the solar plexus. I feel that your person lacked confidence in this connection. I feel like they generally battle with their self-esteem as it is. And I feel like there's something about you and your energy that they felt like they would have to elevate you know, to be with you. There's something they would have to change within their life. I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of people that were keeping, eye, keeping an eye on you and your person. I feel like there was definitely outside influences. I feel like 
with, with this sword here, again, I'm brought to the fact that it's like you saw this person, you saw, you know, their tr uh, who they really are, but at the same time, I feel like there still were truths that they were not telling you. It could be that there was someone else influencing this connection. It could have been, you know, maybe an aunt or a grandmother or, you know, an older sister or, you know, let's say an ex-lover or a friend, you know, someone that, you know, maybe had negative opinions about this connection and they could have influenced this person to keep their distance. Um, I feel like your person regrets the decision that they made when they walked away from you because it's like you were everything that they wanted, right? And I feel like they want to come back. They want to they want to give something to you. I feel like they know that they've been foolish with this full energy, but it's like they want a new opportunity with you. And um, they're dreaming and fantasizing about you, especially if you've been intimate with them. They're thinking about that a lot. They definitely feel that um, both of you have a sacred union because I'm looking here at both the candles here. I feel like this person has been going incredibly slow here with the turtle that's over here. But if you look here at these lilies, it's like there's a lot of passion within this connection. And there is, um, like I was saying earlier, there is a lot of idolizing when it comes to this connection too, because especially if you guys are in separate separation, it's like memories is all that they have to go off of, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and see what actions is this person going to take towards you? Taurus, what actions is this person going to take towards you? We have the moon. We have the king of cups. Um, what actions is this person going to take towards you? Let's see. So I feel like right now they're deep in their emotions towards you. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear about coming towards you. For some of you, they feel like you've moved on in another connection or they feel like something else has your focus and they also could have something else that's going on um, in their life. I feel like they have a lot of love with you with this King of Cups energy. I feel like they really do want to support and take care of you. I feel like they want to come out of any other situation that has them feeling trapped um, that's keeping you guys apart. I feel that, um, let's see, for the outcome here. It's like their actions is they want to get out of their head. They want to balance their emotions because I feel like the intensity that they feel with you, it really, it's, it's like it knocks them um, it, you know, it destabilizes them. It's like you calm them, but at the same time, it's like they, they feel that they have to, uh, you know, find their balance with you. Yeah. So for a lot of you, it's like they want to come back together again and they want to have this communication. Um, they want to have a reconciliation with you. They want to tell you the truth. I feel like they, they finally want to... Um, to clear the air with this ace of swords outcome for taurus and love um i also feel like there's truth that you're that you already know about the situation because you're very intuitive um yeah the hangman there's something that your person is seeing differently um and there's something that you're seeing differently too about you know ways that maybe you sacrificed yourself in this connection um and maybe they're seeing that, you know what, for them to have this reconciliation, there are sacrifices that they need to make in their life, right, and be willing to change. And I feel like for a lot of you, they're willing to do that because they haven't encountered anyone else like you and you are their Ten of Pentacles. You're someone that they just don't feel emotionally fulfilled with the Ten of Cups. You're someone that they feel um, that they can actually have, you know, a 3D legacy with, you know. Um, and they admire you. They love the way that you look. They love the way that you feel. They love the way you make them feel. Your energy is very, um, is very noticeable wherever you go. And you're very, you're also very kind. You're very humble, funny, down to earth. I really feel that they love all of this about you. So let's go ahead and get some more messages about your love situation. See what your person wants to tell you, Taurus. Messages for Taurus. The Taurus watching this video. About your love situation, what your love interest wants to tell you. I am obsessed with you. <laughs> First card out. So yeah, some of you, it's like they can't, they can't shake the feeling that they get with you. It's like they, they can't find it anywhere else. They want to know why. Some of you, some of them, they feel like you did something to them. <laughs> It says, you could have anyone you want. Why me? And see, this highlights their solar plexus, right? And they're also the root chakra. It's like they're surprised that you're even interested in them. Some of you could have um, 
you know, a following or you can um, be very set up financially or you could be um, in the public eye or let's just say it's just because your energy is so um, healing. It's like they want to be next to you and they know other people do too. And it says, I hurt you in a past life and this life. So there's so much karma to clear. So yeah, and I really feel like with all of the, um, we know the five planets we have retrograde right now, especially with, you know, Chiron being retrograde, retrograde um, it's all about, you know, us healing and also asking ourselves, you know, okay, what ways do I go, go into self-protect mode, right? Which ways do I respond to different behaviors and situations that hurt me that's that's not healthy for me it's like we're all diving deep into that and it's going to go direct about October 6th so it's like we're going to be taking the information that we're learning and it's going to be helping us on our healing journey right and this is acknowledging that and then we have let's see I think of you at night <laughs> I'm sure they do Okay, let's get another message. Last message here for Taurus from your love interest. What do they want to tell you? Well, just know if they're with someone else, that other person leaves them feeling empty. They are not fulfilled with anyone else but you. Um, wow, look at this. Every morning I think of you. Every night I dream of you. Yeah, that's that Seven of Cups energy. It's very dreamy, very dreamy energy. Let's see here. How's your person feeling for you? It says, I enjoyed spending time with you more than any other woman. Yeah, they haven't been able to replace you. I think some of them, you know, they went out there and I don't want to necessarily say that they got their feelings hurt. Some of them did, which, you know, was karma. But at the same time, I think they just really realized that there's just something very unique about your presence. Um... And I feel like you know things about them, and it really surprises them how it's like um, you can understand so many different things from uh, about them without them even saying it. And it says, you were my first choice. <laughs> For some of you, I miss you in my bed. Okay, they want to let you know that. <laughs> oh my gosh, again, obsessed with memories of you, bottom of the deck. So that is your reading, Taurus. If you like this video, um, please press the like button for me and subscribe. Um, and if no one has told you yet today, I love you. You're amazing. And thank you for spending time with me. Bye.